Hello everyone, welcome to Coding Culture. This channel will contain those programs whose explanation is either not present on YouTube or the explanation is present but not up to the mark. So without wasting time, let's get it started. So this is a new question of the lead code and it appears in the bi-weekly contest of Saturday for September. Okay, so yeah, it's a medium level question and what we have to do in this question is that we will be given a binary array of uh, one and zeros and uh, what we have to do is simply we have to return a sub array, a 2D array of uh, number of columns will be equal to four and we have to return the top left bottom and right of each of the lines like this is one line and okay so what will be the top bottom left and right the boundaries they will be zero and for this one 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 top will be one my my top will be one my left will be one and my topmost left topmost left and bottommost right and bottommost right will be two two so yeah we have to return the top left corner and bottom right corner so we have to return it in a 2d array the columns will be four and yeah we have to return uh, any number of uh, lands we found okay so this is uh, just a variation of the question number of uh, islands i hope that you must all have done the number of islands question and we will simply do a dfs and uh, yeah so okay so now let's try to discuss the approach which we will be going to do it uh, is that every given uh this matrix and i will run a loop and check if my ij my um, land ij equal to one so i will simply go into a dfs and in dfs what i will do is i will first of all make this uh, one as a zero okay yeah so i will make this uh, one as a zero and i will store the maximum maximum of the my i and maximum of the j and there, those will be our boundaries like we okay so we, we already know the top left corner we only need to know the bottom right and bottom right corner will be what maximum of my i and j in the maximum which we have traveled okay i will make it as one and check if it's uh, anything left right side or bottom is, uh, is one or not no it's not so it's uh, bottom right will be equal to top uh, left and they both will be zero then i will go and okay so now i will get one here i will make it as zero okay and then i will check for uh, my bottom left my maximum of i and j okay so here i will be i will be same and column will be plus one, plus one column so yeah my i have got the new column so i will take it and make it as zero similarly make it as this zero also so here my row is same my row is different but column is same here my column is different but my row is same and here both are different and both are maximum my row and column both are maximum so i will take it and uh, yeah my row and column new row and column will be our bottom right corner and i will store it and then move on and further there are no one remaining so there, there will be only two 2d in the 2d matrix result there will be only two rows and four columns like i think you must be getting what i'm trying to say like here there are two lines the number of lines will be two and columns are going to be four always like here the number of lines is one here the number of lines is zero there is no one here okay so one is representing the farmland and zero is representing forest land so we have to return the coordinates of the farmland so without wasting time let's start to code it and uh, first of all what i will do is i will make an array list since we don't know how many number of yeah mm, we don't know how many number of uh, lands will be there so i have to make an array list not to uh, we can't make it directly a uh, 2d array okay so into list in teaser and uh, let's make a rest equal to new array list okay and uh, now i will simply run a loop hmm. okay and i will simply okay so yeah this question is uh, just a variation of the, the number of items i already told so i will check if my land of i j equal to one yeah so now i will call the dfs okay and uh, dfs in with dfs i will just pass the land my current row and current row. okay so now there is an intuition okay so now let's uh, talk about uh, yeah there is a bit intuition here so and what the intuition is that simply my look I, whenever i will find my one that will be my top left corner so i will store yeah first of all let me make a array list i will make array list whenever i will get one and let's name it as tmp equal to new array list okay and i will add tmp dot add my new i okay and my new j yeah simply and here what will be my bottom okay so yeah let's make it two global variables bottom and right yeah so at uh, this point i'd like look at this point my bottom right will be also be bottom will be i same row and my right will be same as the column j okay 
and then I will move on to the DFS and in the during DFS I will check I will update my bottom and right to be the maximum of i and z and at last I will add it into my PMP so after doing the DFS I will get my bottom right I will simply add them bottom PMP dot add right okay so yeah this was it and uh, at last I will simply add PMP to the result okay so now what the only thing remaining is to make a DFS call and you must all will be knowing that you how to make a DFS call if not I will tell you no problem so yeah private and the return type will be void and the DFS and the arguments here what will the arguments the arguments here will be my land int r and c okay so yeah that this they will be our arguments and uh, now what I will do is I will look in DFS there is one there is a, a rule like a put upon market uh, and I will mark it as zero and I will take my bottom is equal to math dot max bottom comma the current row okay and similarly I will do for the my right right equal to math dot max okay sorry I should take it as a row okay yeah because the r is already taken so yeah row and my c column okay and next what i will do i will simply call the default okay so now there's one more intuition and that is uh, like we don't have to check our upwards and leftwards we would have already checked as we are starting from the zero and moving forward so we only need to check downward and rightward okay so dfs i plus one j for the downward and i sorry row row plus one comma c or c or column plus one and row okay yeah. so this and one more thing i have to check if my row is less than zero or my column is less than zero or our row is greater than or equal to grid dot length or our column is greater than column so c is greater than equal to land okay so it's okay, okay so it's a land here right so it's generally good so yeah and land zero dot length okay and one more thing that if it is one or not land i land row and c equal to one if it if equal to zero then i will simply return as it's of no use okay and yeah so yeah and after doing it i will simply convert my the array list my array list into a result array to the array i think you must all be familiar with this okay so no problem and at last i will return it okay so let's try to run this code and check if it is running successfully or not okay so the internet connection here is a bit weak okay, so yeah it's again okay yeah one more one bracket is extra no problem i will remove it and i think it should run okay it's not running let's see what the mistake i have done oh so shit this will be row this okay and here it will be r now it will here it will be c comma r yeah now it, i think it should run properly the yeah that's why it is advised to always uh, use the variable names as it is because yeah you must might have a confusion yeah it's running okay now let's try to submit it it should run yeah yeah it's running okay and the other type of city and space is also so what we are generally doing in it is very bit simple like we will be taking two global variables bottom left bottom and right to calculate to check our maximum row and our maximum column yeah for a given land and i will store it into tmp and at last i will return tmp and it is a general classic pfs you must all will be knowing it you all have done the problems like number of islands etc yeah so yeah that's it that was question if you if this solution has helped you in understanding this question i think the channel must deserve a subscribe so please subscribe the channel and if you have any doubt ask in the comment section till then keep on coding chai bye